Welcome back everybody, this is Steve KM9G and today I'm playing with a gimbal. See how well it can keep up with me. It's not too bad. Maybe I should stop squinting. Alright, that's enough new technology. Anyway, I wanted to uh, bring the power pole distribution block thing to a close with this video and give you my final thoughts on all of them. There will be links down below to each of these products and a couple of other ones and to the original videos. Let's get over on the bench. I know you guys have all been waiting for this. So here's where it gets a little interesting. I told you in the beginning I was going to do a real quick review of these at the end and figure out which one won the shootout. And I don't even know still which one won the shootout because they're all fantastic. So maybe that's kind of what the point is. It really depends on what your need is. So this is the CZH Labs one. It's in the box. I'm going to show you the box because this is the one that actually won out in my shack, but mostly because it had mounting ears on it, which is one of the reasons why I got it. And uh, also Mrs. Tio got me this one for Christmas and I'm going to get in trouble if it doesn't win. Um, this one has mounting ears also, but it doesn't have as many outputs as I wanted. Uh, fantastic device. The CZH Labs one, fantastic device. This Windcamp one was a freaking tank. And this is the original one that I bought way back when I got my uh, my ham license and got my first ham shack set up and it's got original TO ham shack dust on it. Hang on a second. Let me pretty that up for everybody. So this one's been a performer. It's done the thing. The reason why this one didn't stay, number one, it's a nice compact design. I really like that. And number two, this... Uh, this dual lock stuff is fantastic, but I've had it for so long that I actually lost the other the other pieces. So I can't stick that on the on the back of the workbench. But this one here will continue to lead a good long life. And then lastly, this one I'm putting down in the club shack. And the reason why this one's going into the club shack is probably the reason why this is one of the better ones in the set here. This is some heavy duty uh, lead wire coming in. This is great. These are some terminal posts, some binding posts. Urgh. So I'll be able to do some, some work on stuff that is, you know, like quick in, get it worked on, get it back out that doesn't have power poles on it. And it also has power pole stuff on it. And it's also mountable. So this will probably wind up being screwed down to the workbench so it doesn't move while we're doing our work. And then I'll have input power and then radio and tuner and other device and other device and something under test and something else under test and this is this is more versatile for being on your desktop and being able to work with a bunch of stuff so who's the winner here they're all winners um you know like this is going to the club shack this is going into some portable box because it's nice and compact this will go into some other project somewhere and then this one here well this one here won for you know, reasons. I just wanted to wrap all of this up. There are links to all of these in the description down below, and I will probably have a link to a couple of other ones here. These are hard to mess up. Any one of these will work for you. Pick the one that meets your needs the best and, and get started. And if you find out after you got this one that you want to add another radio and a larger power supply, get a bigger one. Add another radio. Add another power supply. You have my permission to upgrade. Send that over to your significant other, and uh, it'll it'll be like gold right there. Either way, there is a video right over here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome.